A new today, a $100 million investment aims to stem the tide of homelessness in San Diego. City and county are teaming up to tackle the problem. But ABC 10 News reporter Nate Holmes shows us why one advocate already is casting doubt on the plan's likelihood of achieving a permanent solution. Local leaders say the city and county's partnership has never been stronger and there is a need to see and do things differently than previous years. And the hope is with more focused programs, it will be a tool used to help address homelessness throughout the county. What is happening in downtown is wholly unacceptable for the residents and for the businesses of this community, but most especially for the people who are living unsheltered in encampments along our sidewalks. Mayor Todd Gloria and Supervisor Nathan Fletcher discussed the city and county's plan to help those in need. The city and county will be investing nearly $100 million in services to help those living on the streets. A new coordinated outreach campaign program will begin in the downtown area on June 28th. The program will be housing and neighborhood focused. It will last for three to four weeks working with different agencies around the county. Mayor Gloria adds in the coming weeks, roughly 300 beds will be added to the city shelters bringing the total capacity to 1400. Homeless advocate Michael McConnell was present as local leaders address their plans. He says he is optimistic about the funding, but feels that some of these plans won't work. We've been tearing down trust between homeless services and homeless people for years. And so it's time to turn that around. And I heard some good things that may start turning that around. On the negative side, I also heard that they're going to start cramming more people into our city's poorly performing shelter system. That is not going to help. It's not going to solve anything. Supervisor Nathan Fletcher also addressed the need to have programs focused specifically on mental health and substance abuse for our homeless population. Two community harm reduction teams will be launching in August to help support those living on the streets. Supervisor Fletcher says there was a gap when it came to some of these services in the past. He wants to fill that void and also help the city in areas where they needed. In downtown, Nate Holmes, ABC 10 News.